And we are live. Gentlemen, welcome to Interview with the Demand, episode 130, the Rule Zero Breakdown call-in show where we talk to the members of the audience like you. Guys, the phone lines are already open. The number is on the screen, 657 657- Three eight three, one three, one eight. Now is the time to call in and voice your opinion about everything that's going on. I want to hear what you have got to say. And again, as I mentioned earlier on Rule Zero, on September twenty eighth, guys, or September twenty seventh, September twenty eighth, September twenty ninth, September thirtieth, and October first. You're going to go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language to get on the waiting list for body language mastery. All right. This is the third quarter for enrollment. You could only get in for five days. This is a hands-on, day-to-day, life-changing interaction with me and all the members of Rule Zero. You get to talk to us behind closed doors. This is only for men that are serious about making some serious progress in their life. What does it include? It includes a head-to-toe video breakdown of female body language that lets you know is she sexually interested in you or not. It gives you three weeks of twice-daily webinar Q&A sessions for quarter three and quarter four. And an additional bonus now, it's not even included on the website, is that you also get access to the recordings of the webinar sessions that happened in quarter two. That's right. You get access to the breakdowns done with myself, Rolo Tomasi, Richard Cooper, Ryan Stone, Carl from Black Label Logic, Donovan Sharp, Ed Lattimore, and so much more. This is a value-packed bonanza, dude. This is something that has never been done in the history of the Manosphere, and I am proud to bring this service to the humble audience members, the educated guys, the guys that I actually respect, that I don't take for granted and think that you're some bumbling fool on the other side of the screen. And if that's not enough, you also get access to a men's-only Facebook group that allows you to connect 
with all of the members and really what this serves this serves as a lifetime coaching program. You literally have lifetime access for me. The price is $497. Quarter 1 it was 297. Quarter 2 is 397. Quarter 3 it is 497. Quarter 4 it is 597 and in 2020 this program is done. It is game over. So, get in now while you still can. Get on the waiting list. Go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Click on this link right here. And then you're just going to scroll down, click on this little box, type in your best email address right here. Click the subscribe button and you will be good to go. Now, guys, again, this is pretty much going to be the last time that we talk about this nonsense about everything that's going on. And um, really, I got to say that this this whole situation is really a headache. The phone lines are already blowing up. We've got 678, I see you on the line, and 971, I also see you on the line. So um, we're going to answer those phone calls literally uh, in a couple seconds here. Just want to make sure everything's going good in the old chat. Looks like we got a good amount of people here. Um, so we are going to just fire up the phone lines right now. This is the right video. Uh, who, who wants to know, is this the right video? Yes, it is the right video. Um, so let's take that next caller. Okay. So we're going to go straight to the phone lines. All right. Hey, six, seven, eight, you're on the air. Who's this? Dorian, how you doing, sir? Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Hold on. I can't, apparently, they can't hear you. Can you can you try that one more time? Can you say it one more time? Uh, let's see, guys. Can you hear him now? Give me a give me a. Let's see. One second. I think they can. I can hear you right now. Oh, okay. Go ahead. One more time. Apparently, I was just saying that. You know, for us men who have been through that experience, you know, seeing the horrors of different relationships or just, you know, the beings of life, that we should not just stay in that phase. That phase should just be like something that has a demolition to destroy the belief system that we was, you know, indoctrinated. And we should use that as a foundation to build a new life with the tools and resources that you guys give us. Because what's the point of having all this knowledge but staying in that second place where you know you can build something brand new and something probably better than you had last time? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, ultimately, I, I just think, you know, th there's a couple of people in the um, – real quick, Muhammad, I'm going to make you a uh, moderator. Can you just make sure things uh, go smooth in the chat there, brother? Please, uh, Brother Muhammad over there in the Middle East, if you can help me out. And, yeah, man, you know, at the end of the day, look, the reality is this. These guys can run smear campaign after smear campaign and, and say we are the despair o sphere or we fill men with anger or whatever. But the reality is this. Every single day, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I show up and I put out at least 1% of value. Worst case scenario, 1% of value out to the men who listen to my channel and I am changing lives. I'm changing lives on my channel. I know Rolo is changing lives on his channel and I know that, I mean, Rolo's book is changing lives and at the end of the day, that is what we are here to do. That is what we are set out to do 
And um, I, I just – I don't know, man. I just personally don't believe that we are doing anything wrong, and I don't believe that we're doing anything that is uh, – negative and i think that we are i mean let me ask you something dorian how how has our work personally mm-hmm. helped you as a young as a man as for me um i would consider what you guys call what quote unquote natural like at my younger age i always like study women while i was in my preteens because when i was in puberty i saw a shift that girls finding me more attractive but i didn't know what was going on so through my teenage and early 20 years i was just pretty much getting lucky, but after reading your book and, like, Robert Greene, The Art of Seduction, I see, like, okay, these are the tools and techniques that I was doing instantly, but now I have the, you know, actual grass tangible sources that I could go to. So I could go to Rolo Book and say, all right, I'm doing this because I'm doing this type of behavior. So with yours, you do body language. Like, I took a body language course a year ago, and I can see how my certain posture can stimulate a woman. So you guys are giving out tangible resources that we can use as a guide tool. It's not a Bible, but it's like a tool to say, all right, these are tools and resources I can use in my day-to-day life, whether it's in business, women. So you guys are giving resources not just for sexual dynamics, but just in life in general. So I see that as a huge value than what other people are giving out. Right. And thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, man, and, and that's like uh, I appreciate you calling. I'm gonna go to the next caller, but Dorian, thank you so much for listening and calling in, man. Uh, that's what we're, that's what we do, man. That's that's why I walked away from a top tier Fortune 500 job in Tokyo as a top performer in the company in order to come and do this because this is truly my calling in life. I grew up without a father in my life. It was very hard for me to cultivate and make my masculinity you know, a tool for me to navigate this world in a successful manner. And I knew that growing up in my life without a father, without any masculinity in my life, and it was so hard for me to really develop into the masculine man that I am today. And thank God that I was able to do so. And now I am passing the torch on to the younger generation. And that is why I wake up every day. I plan this show and I do what I do here on the modern life dating YouTube channel. So dude, thank you so much for calling in, man. You got any closing words for us, brother? No, thank you. And just to all the young gentlemen, the older men, you know, just put the mirror in front of your face, look at yourself and see what do I need to improve so I can be my ideal self and just go out there and do it. We have the resources. We have the tools. Now it's time to do the action. Awesome, dude. Great words, man. Dorn, you have a wonderful day, dude. Take care of yourself, all right? All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, guys, and that's that's the big thing. And then let's just let's just go straight to the next caller. What am I going to say? All right. All right, caller, you're on there. Who's this? Jonathan. Yes, who's this? Hey, brother. This is Muhammad Dawi. Oh, Muhammad, what's up, my man? Hey, how are you doing, brother? You all right? I'm doing wonderful, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning here in Tokyo on a Saturday night, and I would, <laughs> instead of being out there bathing in tons of beautiful Japanese girls, I'm here giving back to the <laughs> masculine society with super hot alpha male dudes like yourself, Muhammad. Thank you so much for calling in. What's up, my man? Thank you, brother. Well, um, I have just to say one thing. I mean, I see all the noise. I mean, the first thing is, why have people forgotten what's the whole purpose of the red pill to begin with? It's just helping each other out, right? Right. We've got so many different sources. And I, like, like, I've got you. I've got Ryan Stone, Rollo Tomasi, Jack, Donovan Sharp, Jack Donovan. You know what I mean? Right. Dr. Sean T. Smith, Richard Cooper. We've got all these sources. So... It's funny that the ones making the noise are all people who are losing crowd or didn't have a crowd to begin with. Right. If I look at the guy from the Redman Group, Anthony, if I look now at George Bruno, I mean, why are we talking shit to each other? If you've got your following and you're making your numbers, you wouldn't be go out and complaining. Donovan Sharp is not taking sides and he's not complaining. Right. He made it very clear in one video. He's like, I'm not picking sides and that's it. So why are we now having people jump from the other side to complain. If you're successful, you won't have to step out, step out and talk shit about other people. Right. You know who you are. You know what you bring. These guys, I mean, I, I said it on, on the other show now, um, Rule Zero. Mm-hmm. For me, you guys saved my life. Your consult- 
expectations changed my life. Thank when you. I was procrastinating about getting my own private business, you were the one who helped me out. I look at myself today and I'm, I'm a founder of my own company. You know what I mean? I'm franchising. I'm starting my own lab beside my own job and all that stuff. Isn't that the whole point to begin with? Right. Exactly. Why is George Bruno jumping ship, going to another channel, begging for attention? Yeah. And and that's the thing. Um, I I never I I uh, the whole the whole George Bruno thing is truly, um, it caught me way out of left field because honestly, I never had any single problem with the guy. And next thing you know, he blocks me on social media, <laughs> and then he starts <laughs> engaging in this all out fucking you know campaign against me and and the guys at rule zero and when the reality is we're the ones changing the most lives like collectively all of us are the ones doing the most work to change the most lives and he is part of the camp that is spreading negativity destruction and the backlash that they're receiving is 100 percent evidence of the situation we have here Hundred percent, hundred percent. They're just, they're begging for numbers. They're begging for attention. The ones he made that video, not moving his hand once, because he knows he's gonna have a two-hour episode from you dissecting his body language, like you mm, just so skillfully did with Gay Lou Boy, right? Yes. That's what he was afraid of. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like the successful people, you don't go and talk shit on other people. When you got your money, it's just like fighters. When you got your money and you got your fight and you got your belts and you got your, your pay-per-views, you don't go talking shit on another fight. People come to you. People call you out. These guys, that's what they're doing. You guys are achieving. Even after the split, you guys are achieving. Your numbers are going up. And that's why these guys are calling you out for a fight. But you're like, yeah, you're like, Habib, like, I've got the belt. I defended it. I've got the money. I'm not, I don't have to call anybody out. Yep. Yeah, just, just like Habib, I'll say, bro, just send me location. Send me location, brother. I will talk to you. I will have, <laughs> send me location. Send me location, brother, and I will yeah, talk to I'm... you. So George Bruno's in the chat right now. George, man up. Call me, dude. You're the one that made this problem. You're the one that made this entire situation. And I'm I'm here. The phone number is on the screen, 657-383-1318. Call in. Let's settle this right now, man to man. The line is open. I made this show specifically to get to you. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, I, I'll put it simply, bro. Let's see how the numbers go down after this weird act of, I don't know, just, just begging for numbers and begging for attention. Let's look how many people he's going to lose on his channel because of this. Men don't do this. Only ones calling out the champions are the losers. When you're a champ, you have nobody to call out. You don't show on other people's show and talk shit unless you're begging for numbers and begging for success that you cannot achieve factually. Yeah, exactly. And then, I, again, I'm, I'm telling uh, old, okay. old, old Georgie Poo to call on in, and uh, I'm just going to wait for him because I have the phone line's open. Let me ask you something. You know, you, you're a man who's living over in the Middle East. You're a very successful man. Um, you have your masculinity in check. You're, you know, you have your own business. You have your consulting main job. You're also in an impeccable shape. You're a fucking very healthy guy. You have a lot of the boxes ticked. You're also dating former Miss, Miss, what is she, Miss Argentina or something? Some like beautiful, some beauty contestant. Miss what is Argentina, she? yeah. She's Miss Argentina. <laughs> so yeah, tell me about this. Miss Argentina. What did you take away from the entire video that this man put out like what did you interpret from him putting that video out it's it's like um it uh, well, what's the right term to use alpha widow that's why he is he's just alpha widows he's coming in with no facts whatsoever he's not addressing the fact that that video had more dislikes than likes for me i felt that my stand and your stand on the video it's the same, and I had 580 people sharing the same view. There were 580 people disliking the video, and that, were, that was more dislikes than likes. Yeah. That's when I knew that um, I'm on the side that speaks for my manly mindset. Right. There are 580 people sharing the same thought, that the majority of men 
in the manosphere, people who know about the red pill, the majority of these people were disliking his feminine approach. Yeah, absolutely. You got, if I got a problem, like, 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 here's the thing. Look at what you did. George Bruno's jumping in, begging for attention, begging for numbers, right? Trying to cause some thinking that, con, uh, what do you call it, controversy sells. Mate, you're going to lose all your numbers after this. But even more, look at your attitude about them. That's the difference between being an actual red pill man and being a fucking bullshitter who's trying to make money. You called, you, you, you were like, okay, you're calling me out? Right. Here is, as a man, come face me. Here is my YouTube channel. Here's the freaking number on the screen. Call me. What are you running from? What are you waiting for? The moment you went live and you said the phones are live, you got two phone calls from people who are willing to go there and fucking do the work. Where's George Bruno? Yeah. You went in. You, what, what, was he preparing? Is he waiting for notes from um, the guy from the Red Man Group, Anthony? Is he waiting his text? Is he waiting his advice on, oh, this is what you need to talk about if you're talking to Jonathan? I mean, come on, mate. It's either you're actually red pill or you're not. It's as simple as that. Yeah. If absolutely. you're going to go and, and beg for attention, step up to the fight. He called you guys out. You were the first to step in and say, you know what? Come to my channel. Let's do this. Let's talk it out as men. This is what men do. If I got a problem with you, let's settle it in the ring. Yep, absolutely. We talk things out. We don't go feminine and just keep scratching from distance. We don't do this. We're men. We're men for a reason. If I want to go beta and talk shit about other people and run away from the fight, I don't know, but I'm sure we've got the Mextile community and many others, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. This doesn't make sense. Well, step, up to the, step up or step out. Mohamed, listen, thanks so much for calling. I'm gonna, I have a couple other people on the line. I don't think any of them are George Bruno, but I'm going to give Thank these you, men. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, you're the man, bro. I love you. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you, in. You're the I'm best. proud of you, man. Thank I'm you proud so of much. Your Thank you. I appreciate, Thank you I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the thanks. Facebook group, okay? See you, bro. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so I've got uh, 219, you're up next, and then 773, you're on after that. Okay, 219, you're on the air, brother. <laughs> Hey, what's happening? This is dating coach Alan Roger Curry. Hey, what's Mo up, Big Dog? Fame. I know who you are. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey, well, I, you know, this will probably be my first time interjecting my thoughts on this situation. I, in, well, since this split happened, I've been relatively quiet, and, and I guess I want to hear that. Uh, the uh, podcast you guys finished, I came in at the very tail end. Right. Because so far, I've only heard um, Anthony's side of the story. Right. I haven't heard Rolo's side of the story. And I'm going to be honest, it makes me feel awkward. And I'm sure all of us have been in a situation where you have two friends, maybe, that you're cool with. And then they fall out. But... Because, see, I, I've never had any beef with Anthony. He's always been good to me. Right. Rolo was the one who actually recommended me to be a speaker at the 21 convention. Right. So, of course, I'm appreciative of the Rolo. So, it, it, it's very uncomfortable for me because I, me personally, I don't have any particular beef against either guy. I, I, I'm fond of both guys. And I just hate to see this deep-seated animosity between the two. But like I said, the only thing I've heard so far is is Anthony's side of the story. I, I haven't heard a wrote, so I'm very... If, if you don't mind, could you give me like maybe the two or three-minute version of Rolo's uh, side of the story? So here's... here. Okay, I'll give you Rolo's side, and then I'll give you why I personally have had to be vocal about the situation. And you're you're an old school man. Let me ask you something real quick, Alan. Did you ever fuck with Player Supreme back in the day? You remember Player Supreme? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we had a few conversations before yeah. he passed away. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, that's who I learned from back in the day. I used to work with him, a, 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 uh, you know, Chris Arnett. Um, but, okay, let me just give you the quick two, three-minute break. Yeah, he was a real cool brother. I he's, like he's super cool. That guy helped me out a lot, man. That guy helped me out when I was in a dark time in my life. And um, God bless that guy. Rest his soul. But real quick, here's what happened, okay? So Anthony is claiming that Rolo Tomasi invited the New York Times reporter to the private event at the the cigar bar in downtown Orlando, Florida, okay? 
and he said because Rolo invited okay. invited her to this cigar bar event that the identity of the speakers and the attendees of the 21 convention were in danger, right? That's why okay. That's why Anthony said Rolo was removed. However, what does not add up is that all of the speakers, George Bruno, Ivan Throne, all of uh, all the guys that were there, they had taken photos of themselves, put it on social media, on the platform Instagram, and then they used the GPS tagging to tag the location to say, hey, I'm here at the Corona Cigar Bar right now. And because that occurred, Anthony said that Rolo was endangering the speakers and therefore he was a traitor. That is the basis of everything. But these guys were also putting out the information themselves. Um, in my, my personal problem is Anthony was telling so you have accepted the truth. Anthony was telling me to uh, that I would be speaking at Poland, right? And he gave me a link, and he told okay. me to sell, sell, sell tickets as much as I can. So I sold tickets to the audience that I have here on my YouTube platform, right? I've been very successful with okay. the uh, body language program, and I have a very dedicated audience that you know they they paid literally thousands of dollars to go see me. Once Rolla was removed, Anthony told me. Uh, actually, I was not even told. I was just removed from the website. I was removed from everything, and I was not told anything. So then I had to initiate contact with Anthony, and I said to him, "Hey, man, I'm. What's going on? I'm not a speaker anymore. Nobody told me this, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. He verbatim told me this." He said that I decided that you were not awesome enough, so I decided to remove you from the page, from the the um, from the 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 twenty one convention Poland. That was his professional response. And if you need proof, you can contact me on Twitter. I'll send you screenshots of the DM. I'm not lying. And now here I am as a man. I look like a fucking jackass because I'm sitting there telling everybody. Yeah, spend fifteen hundred dollars. Come see me at this event. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be at the event. Sorry, guys. Wow. So I mean, you can wow. you can see, uh, you know, you can see what's like, you know, where I'm what's what's uh, where I'm coming from. Like you, you see what I'm getting. I mean, you're an old school guy. You know, there's just no respect and no honor in that situation. You see what I'm saying? Or if, if, well, I'll say this. If, if everything you just said is, is true and on the mark, then, yeah, I, I would have to be on your side, man. That, that's unprofessional. That's unprofessional. I, I've got a screen. You know, are you looking um, Are you looking at the YouTube screen right now? I, could literally, yeah. I can literally pull up the exact direct conversation that Anthony sent me that where he said, I, I have – I decided you were not uh, – you're, you're, he said, okay – uh, here, are you watching the screen? I can pull it up. Yeah, I'm watching the screen. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. So it says right here, uh, on this screen right here, it says, I said, hey, I said, dude, I'm removed from 21 Poland. I just got a text from someone. They told me this, and I'm not on the website anymore. And verbatim, he said, I decided your attitude was insufficiently awesome at this time. So as you once requested, I soaped up your bottom, your bottom baby and you just slipped right off the page. That's literally his his response on June so June fourth. Accepted the truth. And then I asked him, like, you know, wow. I said, could you, could you like, uh, I said, you know, could you, you know, oh, it looks like that just, I don't know what the heck happened. It just disappeared. I said, you know, could you explain it for real? And, uh, you know, that's that's exactly what happened right there. Um. So I, I I don't know what to say, man. Like as a business as a businessman and as a professional, you know, what what am I what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Mm. I don't know what to say about that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. 
So uh, that that's what I got to say, brother man. I don't know what else to say. That's that's it. So we just did a little little. Uh, man, that's highly unfortunate. Yeah, I I just got to say, you know, it was just um, I don't know, I don't know what to say. So you know, I, all I would tell you, sir, is that um, just uh, proceed with caution. I mean, you're your own man. You're a grown ass man. I don't need to tell you shit, but you know what I mean. Just uh, proceed with caution is what I would say. But honestly, have you seen his latest video where he declares that he is the um, the president of the Manosphere? Have you seen that latest video? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but see, when I first saw it, to be truthful, I'm sure you're, you're familiar with what's known as parody or satire yes i thought it was satire to be truthful when i first saw it right only to later find out that someone said no that's real that he, you know he's been real but yeah I, when i first watched it, i was like okay this is entertaining satire yeah. um but yeah it, it, i'll say this if that was real it, it was very interesting to watch um yeah, it was very interesting to watch. Uh, okay, I got one more question, then I'm going to let you go. I know you got other callers. Take your time. The yeah. one other criticism I heard other than the one other criticism I heard other than the, the 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 New York Times lady was that Anthony claims that Rolo was was organizing a quote unquote hostile takeover. Did Rolo respond to that in that previous podcast? He did, and I mean, listen, Alan. <laughs> You've met Rolo. What is Rolo going to do? Show up with a squad yeah. of Ryan, him, and Rich with AK-47s and they're going to hold Anthony at gunpoint and have him sign over the the convention? <laughs> like, what, what hostile takeover? <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what is going on? Well, you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I, I just I, I don't know what to say. I just do not know what to say. I, I just it, it, I mean your your response is truly the most uh, appropriate one, which is laughter because God in heaven, like what what is going on with this man? I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore, dude. I don't even know what to say. Well oh, man. Well, I appreciate you uh, breaking it down for me, man, and uh, continued success to you, and I'm going to continue to listen to the podcast. Thank you so much. If you ever make your way towards Tokyo, I'll, I'll show you around and make sure you have a good time. Cool. I'll, 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 I'll touch base with you and hold that to you. Okay. Uh, all right, my friend. We well, have a good day, sir. All right, peace, brother. Later. You too. That is dating legend Alan Roger Curry. Very Great guy, author of Mode One. I'm very honored for him to to call um, in and participate. That is very, very good. Um, you know, Muhammad, don't don't go too wild with the banning. Let, let, let just don't, just uh, just let don't 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 not don't knock them all out. I know you're you are super super alpha male over there. Just uh, help me out here. Don't don't knock them all out. But uh, guys. Phone lines open, man. Um, 657-383-1318. Uh, uh, George Bruno is still watching. I can see him in the chat. And um, the reality is um, he still hasn't called in. So this makes me feel like this is some sort of uh, trolling by him. Um I don't think I, I I think I think that's uh, Johnny here in the chat says he won't call. He's a coward, plain and simple. Um, if you guys want to see George do a little dance, go ahead and click on that link right there. Uh, Streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel to support. You can donate and support to the stream. You can see how strong George is as he curls uh, fifteen pound weights on the screen. Um, and the caller who called in before. Uh, Alan, you hung up. Give me a call back. Uh, the phone number, phone line is open. Six five seven three eight three 
one three one eight. Uh, no call is too small. I I just really I the reason I did this is because we're pretty much gonna we're gonna put this behind us after today's episode, and um, I really just want to get touch base with the guys who are in Rule Zero. So like, if you're kind of on the fence and you're thinking like, hey, I don't know if I should call in, whatever, do it. Six five seven three eight three one three one eight. Call in. Um, George, call in, buddy. Mohammed keeps blocking you because you're, I don't know, man, like, th- does your rotary phone, like, do you, does it take too long for you to, like, you know, dial the numbers? I don't know what's going on, Georgie. Like, just say, hey, Siri, call 657-383-1318. It's not that hall, man. I mean, it's not that hard. Actually, the whole internet is waiting for you, and you're not calling in. But we got two more callers on the line. Uh, let's take 452. Uh, you're up next. Four five two, you're on the line. Hello. Hey man, how's it going? Hey Hans, what's up, baby? Hello. Hey man, long time no see. How are you? <laughs> I'm very good. How are you, man? Good, 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 good. good. In Japan? Yes, yes, yes. Living the dream, baby. Living Doing the dream. Right. What's up with you, my friend? Always. <laughs> Well, I was just watching Anthony's, uh, I don't know, mental breakdown on video. Right. And I, I actually waited about, like, I think it's two days ago since he uploaded. I waited for it intentionally. I didn't want to watch it because I just find it hilarious and sad at the same time. Like, he, he's like a little kid, like a, a teenager. And I, I, I know a teenager because I'm, like, I j- just turned 18. Right. But the guy acts like the manosphere is a playground and he wants to decide what kind of play, what kind of game the other kids are playing. Right. Like I'm the man, I'm the president, like a fucking 12 year old boy. Like, I don't get it. How can you be this like immature? Don't you get that? The manosphere is a group of people on the fucking internet and you declare yourself president. People don't even call you the president. You declare yourself president of a group of people on the internet which mostly the majority of are fucking virgins who are in need of help. That's right. not a, that's not a roast to any of the guys in the chat or anything. That's just the fucking truth. We we look for knowledge. We search for a solution, and most of the guys are in a, in need of a solution. So by you declaring yourself president, you're not you're not. It's not a fucking title that you should honor. It's not something that you're being entitled with it's not a fucking honor the manosphere is a group of people who search for a solution for their problems whether it's in business dating or like just working out and then self-improvement right and that's what he doesn't fucking understand he looks at it as a um, power hierarchy and he wants to be on the top at the same time his fucking company is getting ruined and because he doesn't want to take ownership he blames Roland for it like a fucking little kid again. He doesn't know ownership, and he acts like a fucking twelve-year-old. I don't get it. So it's just so fucking. I don't know. It's it's fucking humiliating to a certain extent. It's, it's embarrassing. Yeah, it truly. I feel is. like he. I feel like he has lost his mind. Well, listen, Hans. Absolutely. You- Hans, you're the and man. Really you're the fucking man, Hans. The fact that you're 18 years old and you can see this clear as day is only an indicator of where you're going in the future. I've got three other callers on that line. I got 608. You're up next, and then I've got 505. You're next, and then 717. So, Hans, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for calling in. I'll see you in the webinars for quarter three of Body Language Mastery, and then from there, we'll take you to the next level, my young man. You got it, man. Always. Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Take care of yourself, buddy. All right. And uh, 608, you're on the air, sir. Hey, hey, John. Hey, who's this? Yeah, it's Joe. Hey, Joe, what's up? Uh, Just one question. It's not really clear. Uh, Who exactly invited the New York Times reporter to that event? Okay. The New York Times reporter was invited by Anthony Johnson and Rolo Tomasi. They had both mutually agreed that they could use her to publish an article about the event in order to get some positive coverage on the Manosphere. This was a collaboration. This was not 
some ev- like this was not some conspiracy or some some grandiose scheme that Anthony is trying to portray this as and we have said this over and over and over again. All right, so they're both too obtuse to realize the so New York Times is going to be hostile the towards them? Well, yeah, that that's where I have to say that I disagree with their, um, their methodology because honestly, yeah, I, I would – okay, first of all, she's from the New York Times. Second of all, she's a feminist. Third of all, she's a woman, and you're inviting a woman to cover an all-men's event. It just doesn't make good sense at all. You know what I mean? Well, so I I struggle to understand what the motivation was to even consider it, I guess. They wanted uh, publicity, positive publicity about the 21 convention. For like uh, New York Times, you know, New York Times bestseller list for a book or, or what? Uh, to be written about in the New York Times, to be written about in the New York Times newspaper. Okay. It. That's the only thing that doesn't make sense to me in all of this. I guess it's uh, so. Yeah, I agree with you. Why would you collaborate with uh, the New York Times? It just doesn't. It doesn't add up. Yeah, they they both mutually agreed that they thought um, this would be a good idea, and that's 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 where we are right now. Is there any documentation to show they both uh, invited her at the same time, or does that not exist? Uh, yeah, I, I posted it on my uh, channel yesterday, and um, there are – I think it's in maybe Rolo's, um, Rolo's uh, blog as well. I'm not entirely sure, but no, I have screenshots that I posted yesterday that they both actively know that um, she was coming, and they were both okay with it. Actually, if you if you could stay on the line right there, let me see if I can – hold on. Let me see if I can pull up the screenshots. I have them here. Well, and maybe, maybe, maybe a better question: Who actually reached out to her and uh, sent the text or phone call or whatever to contact her? Uh, Rolo, Rolo invited her to the uh, event that night, but they were trying to make it like, oh, they, they, he w- okay. This is what Anthony was trying to do. He said because she was invited to the event that night that. That endangered the lives of the men attending the private event there. And uh, if you could take a look at your, can you, can, are you looking at your screen right now? I got you on the TV here. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Um, this is a screenshot here of uh, Rolo Tomasi on the right hand side and Anthony Johnson on the left hand side. These were screenshots sent to me. Um, talking about them, and they're just talking about uh, Nellie Bowles at this time. And they said, fuck, she's been playing all of us. Yeah, yeah, she works for the New York Times like a BPD chick, always lying. I, I have another screenshot that I can put up, but it has the address of one of the other uh, speakers. So I don't want to put that on the screen because uh, the address will be released to the public, and I don't want anybody mailing that guy bombs or anything. You know what I mean? But um, irrefutable. I understand, yeah. Yeah, they're 100% both were – uh, implicit in cooperating to bring her to the event. Okay. Wow. Okay. Joe, yep, th- that's all I got. Thanks. Thanks for calling in, Joe. You're a great guy, and uh, keep listening, and we'll uh, we'll we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. So five oh five. You're up next. Seven one seven. You're after that. And then six three one. You just called in. Thank you for holding. You've been holding for one minute. Keep holding on. Um, five oh five. You're up next. Go ahead. Five oh five. You're on the air. Hey John. What's up? It's Cameron. Hey Cameron. What's up, my brother? Good. Just wanted to thank you for all that you're doing for the men out here in this community. Thank you. Men like you that really provide great value to this community and really help people actually move on and really go in a correct direction in life. And at the end of the day, it really helps us because there are plenty of people that shouldn't really be considered on a certain level that they are. They get lumped up in this space. Yeah. But it's people like you and the Rule Zero crew that really just stand out at the end of the day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Um, I appreciate that, dude. I really do. And like I said, you know, I, and again, here I am telling I, – I, I've literally launched this show – 
so George Bruno could call in, and all he's doing is just sitting there trolling the chat like a senile old fool. So, again, this is not for me. This is for the members of the audience who are watching to understand exactly who these other people are and what they're doing. This is transparent, clear as day, that these guys do not fucking care. So, you have they do not care at all. So, um... Thanks for your kind words, Cameron. I'm going to move on to these other two callers, yeah. and, and I'll be seeing you in the quarter three webinars for yeah. Body Language Mastery, okay? Look forward to it. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Next up is 717, then 631. Hold on. You're on next. All right. 717. Hey, John. What's, what's going on, man? What's up? Who's this? Can you hear me? Yes. This is Rainier. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Mr. Lopez? How are you, sir? I'm doing fabulous. It's a beautiful day here in Vegas. I'm out here walking in the sunshine. You moved out of your parents' house, that, huh? Uh, you moved out of your parents' house? That, that's right, man. That's Good. right, my man. Good I'm stuff. out here in Vegas. I, I got a job out here, and I'm living with one of my best friends, and uh, life is pretty good right now. So I've awesome. taken a lot of action. You know, a lot of it I'll give you credit for because of uh, – our conversation that we had where you was like, look, dude, you got to come up with something. You got to find a way to get yourself out of the situation. And I did. And, um, not just, not just you, I have to give a lot of credit to the works of Rolo Tomasi and Rich Cooper and all of you guys on the rule zero side. And I just wanted to say that it's kind of, it has been concerning to see all this stuff go through. Work, and, um, sister. and by the way, feel free to stop me if I'm rambling or anything no you're good but um the 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 convention is some is actually something i really wanted to attend in 2018 but i couldn't work that out and um i'm actually glad in a way that i didn't in the sense that i probably would have felt more i don't want to say betrayed but you know i felt like i would have been maybe cheated if i had gone to an event like that and then all this stuff goes down it was really the the community of guys that I had been looking for, there wasn't really anything quite like that in the things that I've seen, right. even with RSD, even with Tony Robbins. Um, there's just not a lot of this stuff that is actually out there to help men. And people have forgotten the whole purpose of basically rule zero. Right. It's how to improve yourself as a man so that you can live the best life which, that, you, that you can, pursue excellence, and then the, the tail, I guess, will pursue you. Right. Um, but also there are strategies to, to, um, to put yourself in the best position and be the guy out there that's actually going after what you want, whether it's a job, whether it's women, whether it's money, whatever. Right. So anyway, that's a long, long-winded rant, kind of praising you guys and just... Um, now... I, I, I do kind of want to get your opinion on this. I know that the Godfather uh, nickname, let's say, that's been bestowed upon Rolo has been sort of given to him by the community for the most part, I would say. But I, I wouldn't, and this is just me, I wouldn't call him that, you know, going forward, because I don't want him to be a cult leader. I don't want that to go to his head. And I'm not saying it will, I think it's clearly going to Mr. Dream's head right. in the sense that he's calling himself the president of the manosphere effective immediately. Whenever, when I saw that, I could not help but laugh out freaking loud. And <laughs> it was just one of those, one of those things where I was like, man, how the if people tend, tend to expose themselves when they're under stress, when they're under pressure. And, it's unfortunate. It really is. I'm done. I'm done ranting. I'd like to hear what you got to say. No, Thanks, you're, John, for taking my call. You're welcome, man. You have a wonderful day. I'm going to take the next call, Rainier, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, brother. Thanks for calling in. See you in the Body Language Mastery Quarter 3. Um, 631, you're on the air, brother. Hey, Johnny. How are you? It's Chris Von Eric from New York. Hey, what's up, my brother? How are you, sir? Thanks for having me on your show the other day. Oh, you're you're more than welcome uh, anytime, and uh, it was great. It was a great uh, back and forth, uh, very informative, 
like I said, but I, I had to call in because I saw your, your brilliant uh, breakdown last night. That was tremendous. Uh, people should go back and watch that if they haven't already. Uh, I watched it actually two or three times. And I also saw, uh, caught your stuff today on Rule Zero. And let me just say something right now. Cause I'm, I'm also watching uh, George in the chat here. And he's being, he's being very specific on things in terms of this whole, you know, what happened at the, uh, in Florida. The base, Rolo was very uh, kind and nice to me and very open way back when. He shared a lot of this information with me well before it was even talked about or publicized. And Rolo did not tell that lady to come down to that cigar bar, hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's not of the realm of possibility for a news reporter to have resources all over the United States. She could easily have found out where that was, even if some of those other guys didn't dox the location with putting hashtags and things of that nature on their own Twitter accounts. So it's not that hard for her to track down exactly where they might have been hanging out that night. Hmm. Yeah, that, exactly. So, it, a uh, a I, 15-year-old yeah. girl could have found that place, man, if you gave the objective. I, exactly. You know, and and again, the, the Red Man group developed and became what it was at that time. He was helping Anthony out with that. Okay, it, it was built because he brought in talent like yourself, like Ryan, etc. And it's no... It's no um, it's no shock that now, since you guys are gone, it's going in the toilet. Yeah. So, and I think it's very disingenuous of him to come out now and try to save face or do this about face of what he's doing, trying to become, you know, the alt right show. And then that's fine. He's got that, that right to do that, but it's garbage the way he's doing it. And that's all I wanted to say. Uh, keep up the good work, my man. Thank you so much, dude. I, I, I want to tell you sincerely, um, I appreciate you reaching out to me. I appreciate you having me on your show, and I appreciate you calling in today. Again, the Manosphere, um, it does not belong to one man. There is no one leader. It is all of us together in this thing, uh, including you. So I appreciate you having me on the show and, and your friend um, who also lived in Japan when I chatted with him. You know, much regards to that man as well. Um, we'll be in touch, my friend. Absolutely. And- and uh, thanks for participating. Okay. All righty. All right. Be well. Take care. So you have accepted the truth. Okay. And Greg, thanks for subscribing. Um, so guys, uh, we have now been live for fifty-three minutes, and um, George Bruno is uh spurring away in the chat, and um. George, you have 60 seconds to call in or I'm going to permanently ban you from the chat. And uh, Muhammad, I'll give you the honors to – when I give you the word, Muhammad, ban him permanently. Um, George, George, the phone number is on the screen. I don't know. Do you have your glasses on? Can you not read? Uh, the phone number is right here, buddy. 657-383-1318. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. You are trying to, uh, you're just trying to make a point, or I don't know what your what your deal is, but the the phone lines are open, and uh, we are waiting for you, guys. Um, I think George Bruno is a coward. If you think George Bruno is a coward, give me a number three in the chat. Is George Bruno a coward or not? Give me a number three in the chat if you think he is a coward because i need to see um what what's going on here because honestly it's just like what what is the deal like because you, you're talking all this nonsense and it, it's it's not it's not happening so i just don't i don't get what's going on because you are claiming to be on the side of truth you want to say that we are part about the Disparosphere or whatever, and um, the reality is you're 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 just not calling in. Uh, we have men who are 18 years old that have bigger balls than you that are calling in, and 
making their voice heard. If you claim to be this warrior of light, if you claim to be this great guy, you claim to be this uh, Christian man, this this you know great person. Um, you 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 claim to be all these things, but you're not calling in. So your five minutes are up, George and Muhammad, my friend. Go ahead and do the honors, please. Permanently ban George Bruno from my channel. Congratulations, Muhammad. I will give you the honors because you are an honorable man. George Bruno, you are as relevant as your career at Super Cuts, and um, you are now permanently banned from the channel. Um, you are never going to come back. Goodbye and good riddance. Um, it's game over for you, pal. That's it. I gave you an opportunity. Um, so, guys, again, for you guys uh, – Again, this is not about this senile old fool, this uh, this impotent, ignorant ignoramus. This is not about him. This is about you. So I want you guys to call in and, and again, give me your thoughts on this whole subject. Uh, the phone number is 657-383-1318. Remember, the manosphere is yours. If you can hear my voice right now, I'm broadcasting live from Tokyo, Japan, and if you can hear my voice wherever you are in the world, if you are a man and you have breath in your lungs, you have blood beating in your heart, so you have accepted the truth. Now is the time for you to voice your opinion because this show is for you. This is all for you. This is not for anybody else but for you. Without you... I am just a man shouting into my camera alone in this room, much like George Bruno shouts at clouds in the park as he walks around in his fucking senile behavior. Um, 657-383-1318. Call in and give me your opinion. Uh, I would love to hear about it. And again, for you guys that are joining in just now, um, coming up September 27th, talk about a real man who has real coaching. That is me. September 27th, September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, and October 1st, the Body Language Mastery program is going to be open for enrollment. It is only available for five days. What this does, it gives you a head-to-toe video breakdown of female body language that shows you if she's sexually interested in you or not, gives you three weeks of twice daily webinar question and answer sessions for quarter three and quarter four. That's right. You get to have a conversation with me, Rolo Tomasi, Richard Cooper, Ryan Stone, Carl from Black so Label Logic, you have accepted the truth. Donovan Sharp, Ed Lattimore, and so many more. We have asset protection uh, experts. We have TRT experts. We have fitness experts. We have obviously dating experts like myself. You also get access to a men's only Facebook group that allows you to connect with top level men in the community and help you expand your network of power, influence, and mentorship. Go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Click on this link right here. Scroll down and just click your best email address into this box. Click subscribe and you will be good to go. The price is $4.97, and after that, it will be closed, and it goes up to $5.97 in quarter four. Let's go back to the phone lines because we have a lot of people calling in. Um, all folks, please stay on the lines because every single one of you has a voice that is worthy to be heard. So in order, 937, you're up next. Uh, 323, you're after him, and then 11111, whatever you are, you're up uh, last. So 937, you are on the air. Hello, 937. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's Josh. It's Red Crusader. Hey, how you doing, my brand? Am I coming in good? You're coming in perfect, baby. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, appreciate all that uh, 
stuff you told me, I'm doing great with my lifting. Good. Feeling great. Very good. Anyway, I I don't understand. Like, I thought George was going to redeem himself today. I really thought he was a better man than this. Well, now the <laughs> the wool has been removed from your eyes, my child. Yeah, and, you know, the funny thing is, I was watching his crap before I ever, well, before you even started your show, and, you know, back then, he was that kind of man that had that kind of respect and honorability, but either if it's a troll or not, it just, it just confuses the hell out of me, you yeah. know? Um, I, I'll tell you this, I'm an experienced man, and I can tell, you know, George is a professional actor. And I can tell when somebody is full of shit. And when somebody is full of shit and they claim not to be, um, that really is what pisses me off the most. And that is um, George Bruno. Uh, this guy is a talker. He is not a walker. Um, some people cannot handle the reality of the red pill. Some people, like the background behind me, some people, they – cling on to the matrix and they need to they need their lies and delusion to cope with reality they cannot truly handle the power and burden of truth that comes with the red pill and george is one of those guys to be honest with you right and you know like th what he did today is just a lack of respect. And I've, I've seen that because obviously you've reciprocated by saying the stuff that you've had and the stuff that you've done today. You, right. you had to do that. Right. And to, I gave, I gave him a to platform too. That up. I gave him a platform to call in and he didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. You gave him a chance and what, what the heck happened? But you know, this, this whole thing of respect, it transcends the ideas of red pill electric bugalo or whatever the hell it's just like respect from man to man yeah you know yeah absolutely so, um well josh listen i think you, thank you so much for calling in today i'm gonna get to the other men on the call look 323 is next on the line and then 111 is going to be All after right. that but uh thank you so much man and i'll be seeing you in the webinars for um body language mastery quarter three correct correct awesome dude Awesome. Well, I'll be seeing you, and uh, you have a All wonderful right. day, man. Good, good luck in the gym. Hey. Yeah, thanks. Peace out, man. All right. Bye-bye. All right. 323, you're on the air. Hey, what's going on, John? Appreciate you putting me on and putting the follow-up together. I'm Edward up in the, down in L.A. Thank you. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing fucking fantastic. I'm just looking forward to get to the gym and get this call and all this nonsense sorted out for the day. I did have one point I wanted to raise. There's been a whole lot of noise about inviting this New York Times reporter to the cigar bar. So right. what? If she was invited to the event itself, how could inviting her to the cigar bar be potentially dangerous to anybody there? It doesn't add up at all. Thank you. Just a bunch of crap. Thank you. That's exactly what it was. The reality is this. He is. He was looking for a reason. He, he didn't have the balls to tell Rollo Tomasi to his face that he wanted to rebrand as a political convention. And that is what right. he, he, he's doing right now. I don't know if you've, if you've noticed, but he's been mentioning this is the last Manosphere event, blah, blah, blah. He's planning to rebrand into a political event. Uh, but the reality is um, uh, he, he's just – He has to after all this. Yeah. Exactly. Well, he was planning to in anyways, but um, you know, he is just absolutely, um, you know, poor, poor in his execution, poor in his execution of what is happening, and um, it's just, this is just. I think this is good for all the men in the manosphere, as you know, Ryan. I mentioned it on my show yesterday, and then Ryan actually mentioned it again today. This is a very good for all the men who are considering, um you know, excelling in life and starting your own business. This is a great example of how to destroy your business. Um, you know, and this guy has no idea how to run a business. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, it, it, it's truly sad to watch himself destruct, but 
let this let's let's put this positive spin on this and um we can see that hey at least we can learn how not to operate in the real world like this because you will destroy yeah. your belt your business and credibility it's a really great lesson in what happens when you lack emotional intelligence right absolutely 100 percent. 100 percent. thanks very much brother thanks man good luck in the gym what are you hitting today uh we're hitting chest triceps and back do it baby get huge <laughs> working on it, man. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. All right. And we got two new callers on the line, 248 um, and then 831. So you guys hold on. Um, 11111, you're up next. And then uh, 248 and then 831 in that order. Uh, all right. Caller, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Awesome. So um, first of all, thank you for all you guys that you do. Um, sorry, a little nervous. I'm expecting to come in so soon. So my point that I want to bring up is for Anthony Droid Johnson there. Right. Um, all this theater acting that he's doing, it's just really hurting the space for more for people that are trying to come in or that are trying to find us. Because when they see something unstable like this little uh, charade that he's pulling out, it's really turning off some other guys. Now, I know um, it's been discussed that it's not easy to, or it's not advisable to red pill other gentlemen but this is just making it harder for new people to come in especially when it's such a good resource for developing oneself and one's life i don't know i just think it's in poor taste and poor form from uh, mr droid's part you know yeah yeah absolutely um it's just uh it, it's it's just yeah i again i get i just say as an entrepreneur and business owner and a successful businessman myself this is absolutely the worst way to conduct conduct yourself as a businessman and um yeah and then um one thing that i wanted to point out too i was uh going through the video uh for rule zero and you guys the rz crew versus the quote-unquote red man group over there mm -hmm. and the ratio of likes to dislikes with their videos and yours and the views, uh, the numbers of views for their videos and your videos, um, the RZ videos versus the Redman videos, it's been astronomical. And also, um, obviously, you have a lot more views, you have a lot more likes, you have a lot more interaction. And with them, now they're, I suppose the numbers are going down, and they weren't going down when you had your original. So it's just like you shot himself in the foot. Why just to be selfish? What for? Messing up the space? What for? At the end of the day, um, people are going to go to where uh, the, the content that they want is. And it's obviously here. It's just, I'm just baffled at the lack of subtlety and nuance when he just went, you know, gung-ho with his declaration there. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just ranting here just because I'm Listen, dude, I'm trying you, to talk you, to other guys, too. You have every right in the world to call on this show and rant okay because like i said the manosphere belongs to you it belongs to every single man it belongs to me we are a decentralized organization and exactly you know you have you have an equal voice man so don't worry about that yeah just uh last sentence here it's really hard to it's already hard enough to hand a copy of the rational mail to somebody who you you love and you want them to grow and having this tied up with all of it is just irresponsible. Anywho, I'm going to head out let other callers come in. That's just my two cents. Keep doing what you do. Sayonara. All right, buddy. You take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. We got another call on the line. 248, you're up next. And then 831, hold on there. You're up next after him, 24. Okay? And then 424, I just saw you call in. One second. Uh, 248, go ahead. You're on the air. John, how you doing, buddy? Hey there, I'm doing great. How are you, man? Doing great, man. Hey, George Bruno, I hope you're still watching this, man, and I hope you can hear this. I saw the Rule Zero podcast where you're weighing in and you're accusing all these guys about harboring angry men, angry, violent men. When are you going to speak out against Anthony Johnson having a gun on his desk when he responded to Richard Cooper in his video? Yeah. 
isn't that kind of a violent man that you should be speaking out against? Oh, yeah. Yep. Very good point. Very, very, very good point there, sir. Yeah. And, I and then one other question I had is uh, – mm -hmm. Go ahead. I, I know you were good friends with uh, with Steve the Dean Williams. I know you, him, and Donovan were good friends. I mean, I don't know if you saw that video of Steve the Dean making a fool of himself at the 21 convention calling Rolo a, <laughs> you know, yeah. a rational male has no balls and all that crap. How do you feel about all that stuff, man? I was kind of disappointed in old Steve there. Well, I respect Steve the, uh, the Dean Williams as a player and a man. Um, you know, he has made his choice. Um, you know, as a as a player and a pimp, Steve is one hundred percent legit. He is a hundred thousand percent legit. Uh, as a man, you know, I don't know how long you've been watching me, but my philosophy is this: as a man, my goal is to help other men live life however they want to do. So Steve has made his choice. Steve has uh, chosen his path, and that is up to Steve to uh, live with the consequences, whether they be positive or negative. Um, and that's not me trying to be passive-aggressive or anything to him. I have no ill will towards Steve. I believe he's doing good work. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was alcohol involved. Maybe he was just in, caught up in the moment, whatever. But, um, you know, at the end of the day uh, – He's entitled to his opinion, and um, yeah, that, that's that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Well, I, I hope that anybody who's still associating with Anthony Johnson at any of his events, I hope they read. I forget which law it is in the Laws of Power, but it says to never associate with the unfortunate and 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 with the unlucky. And they're going to catch a lot of shrapnel if they keep attaching their name to this guy. So I hope they smarten up on that. Yeah. But you guys are doing a great job, man. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I um, appreciate that so much. And uh, yeah, dude, take care of yourself. And thanks for calling in, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. All right. Bye-bye. What a nice guy. I like that guy. Uh, the next caller is 831 and then 912. I see you're on the line there next. Um, I'm going to pull you on right after 831. So here we go. Uh 831, you're on the air, sir. What's cracking? How you doing? What's up? What's up? Can you hear me? Yes, hear you perfectly. Uh, what's up, dude? Shit. Coming out of Carolina to Cali, man. What's good, uh, dude? Yeah, man. I don't know. I've, I, I always got a weird vibe from fucking Anthony, man. He's, he's just his fucking... His body, his posture is just so fucking so weird to me. It always seemed like a little, like... Like a small man complex sort of a thing. Yeah. The way he always postures himself in the videos and puts the camera angle so low and everything, the American flag in the back <laughs> with the 13 states. Yeah. The 13 colonies. Yes, yes. So weird, dude. Uh, it's, so weird. It's, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, man. It's, 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 he's grasping for straws, I think. I mean, can you imagine this shit? Like, I bet you he's lost so much money already just for the dipshit ass fucking thing he did. I mean, he, like, he had a great thing going on and he just threw it away acting like an idiot he, like he literally had the ma basically he did i mean he had at one point he did have the entire manosphere together i mean at least all the important people right that mattered right and he just just threw, just threw it away just for fucking just i don't know power play or some shit i don't know yeah kind of stupid <laughs> extremely stupid I mean, I, man i see all this kind of dipshit crap and it yeah, I mean, I see all this crap in the uh, in the cryptocurrency space as well. It's it's starting the same sort of crap is going on as well. Like, especially if you go to a lot of the conferences out there and stuff, it's just these little power plays with people and their followers, and you know, it just it just it becomes all this kind of like meta game and everything, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, I definitely agree with you on that. Um, the what can I say, man? It's just. Uh, just something just i don't know as, as a as a as a C, I, I got street smarts i've got corporate smarts and um this guy's playing it wrong on every single level man i don't understand to be honest with you i don't understand yeah so yeah. are you into cryptocurrencies or no yeah dude you don't watch my show every wednesday I do a tokyo crypto show and i do breakdowns on what's going on with the really? yeah dude you don't watch you don't you're not subscribed what? Dude, I, I, 
I, I'm subscribed, dude, but I, I swear to you, man, I don't. I, I literally had to type in your name to see your live stream because uh, I kept refreshing my YouTube page and it doesn't show it. It's like almost like you're like shadow banned or something because I used to see your stuff all the time, and then for the past two three months now, I've, I've nothing. I actually had to physically type out your name to, to see your, to see the videos in your channel. Yeah, you have to click the I bell. Have you, like, uh, the... I have like the bell. No, no, it's I have the bell personalized to see your video, so it always on the newest videos all the time, and it's nothing. Huh. That's pretty interesting. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, dude. Like I'm Yeah, that's I mean like I, I mean like I mean I look for your videos and stuff, but I you know, usually like during the week and stuff I usually don't have time to be on YouTube. But you know, today's like you know, weekend, so yeah. <laughs> well, I mean every Wednesday, nine AM Eastern Standard Time here I have got um everything uh you need to know about cryptocurrency. Uh me and Charlie from Cultivate Crypto uh, we do a cryptocurrency breakdown every single Wednesday. So 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, tune in, and you will be able to be part of our cryptocurrency conversation. Oh, for sure, man. I'll be there for sure. I'll call in. Um, you, are, are you a Litecoin or a, a, like a Cardano fan or no? No, no, no. Bitcoin or die, my man. Bitcoin or die. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a maximalist. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I'm maximalist, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, yeah, dude, I'm going to uh, take the other callers. Thank you, you so much. Hey, no, no problem, man. Have thank, a good one. Thank you. Call back on Wednesday. You can call in and talk crypto with us. The lines will be open, okay? All right, got you. Bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, 912, you're up next, and then 951, you are the one after that. Okay, nine one two. You're on the air. Hey, hey, Jonathan. What's up? Who's this? Hey, this is uh, this is Jonathan in Georgia. Is that oh. FG? Hey, what's up, brother? How are you? I'm fantastic. I can't complain. Um, I had put a comment in the chat, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. Um, it all of this is really sad. I yeah. mean, when when I found you guys. I was going through a divorce, um, searching for answers, and you, Rich, Rollo, all that stuff. Um, and we talked about this during our Skype chat. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, Anthony would come on shows with you guys and Bruno and all that stuff. But what's sad now is since there's a divide, men like me that are going to be looking for stuff are going to go and find their content thinking that's the truth, and they're going to be led astray. Right. What are your What are your thoughts on that? Well, that is a big part of why I made the rebuttals, uh, like I did, because honestly, the reality is, um, you know, if if I don't re like if I don't refute the negativity and the lies that he is um, spreading out, then you know. I'm directly responsible for the men he leads astray, and that's why, you know, what like we had like as rule zero, we have better shit to do, all of us. But we had to respond to like this idiocracy that he had posted out. Um, so, you know, we had to do the right thing as businessmen, as uh, leaders of men. And, uh, you know, people look up to us, so we had to do what was right. And, yeah, man, that's that's why we had to do what we did, and that's uh, that's exactly why I'm here. That's why I also uh, gave old Georgie Pie an opportunity to explain himself here on the platform. What did he do? We are now 78 minutes into this stream. The phone lines have been open for 78 minutes I have talked to over 10 men so far, and George Bruno was not one of them. Instead, you know what he did? He sat in the chat, and he was trolling and saying all these negative things to all the people in the chat, and he's still watching right now because, I mean, he's, you know, he's, you know, he got, his wife left him, he's got no women, he's got nothing, he's just, he's failed at life, and this is what he's been, this is what he's been reduced to trolling youtube chats in the closing days of his life so um that alone should be oh, oh yeah I... go ahead go ahead 
yeah, I've, I've been glued to this since the beginning of Rule Zero, rule, uh, zero earlier. Right. I mean, it's, it's been crazy. Yep. Yeah, it has been. Um, so that's, you know, that's why we did what we have but to anyway, do. But anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And, and I appreciate it. Your, your video yesterday was amazing. I, I had been wondering what, what had gone down and why all you guys were bailing out of 21 con. So that was, that was nice to see what actually happened. Appreciate it. All righty, man. Well, yeah, dude, thank you so much, dude. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. So, uh, until then, dude, we'll, we'll, I'll see you in the quarter three for body language mastery, uh, webinars and we'll have a good old time to coming then. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right. Have fun. See you later, John. All right. Later. Bye bye. All right, and uh, we got another call on the air here. Eight two eight. Let's get eight two eight on the line here. Uh, eight two eight. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. What up, Samurai? What's up? Who's this? This is Chris Wilson. Hey, what's up, man? What up, brother? Can you hear me all right? I hear you perfectly. What's going on? Uh, just calling in to say what up, bro. Uh, really looking forward to uh, quarter three. Did you, uh, did you see me on the waiting list? I I did not. There's over 200 people on the waiting list so right now, so it's oh, okay. It's one big blur. But you're you're gonna get oh, that's in. That's a good time, bro. You gonna get in? Yeah, bro. I'm excited, man. Good Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. It's gonna be awesome, man. I'm very happy to hear that. Very excited about it. Um. So, what do you think about yeah, this man. whole yeah, situation uh, going on here? Well, uh, I find it very interesting. Um, you know, as you know, uh, like yourself, uh, I have a, a psych, uh, psychology background and I, um, I wouldn't call myself an expert. You know, I, I just have the same, uh, four year degree. Uh, right. I double majored in psychology and, uh, uh, health promotion. Right. But, uh, I've always been very, very fascinated with psychology and, when I saw the video, I was kind of like Alan Roger Curry, and I thought, uh, I thought it was like a joke, man. I'm like, <laughs> like what is going on? I, I, man, I was, I was almost on the floor when he said, "I declare myself the uh, the president." But I, uh, I actually started to think of a book. I was like, man, I started thinking of these like bullet points. I couldn't exactly remember where and then i dug up this uh this like ebook it's just a, a basic psychology ebook and then i went to the index or whatever and i found um narcissistic personality di personality disorder yes. and i just want to read you the top four points real quick go ahead take it's, your time it's very interesting this is the point i was Number making too go ahead yeah Number one, grandiose sense of self-importance. Number two, lives in a fantasy world that supports their delusions of grandeur. Number three, needs constant praise and admiration. Number four, sense of entitlement. Number five, this one's, this one uh, took me a second, but uh, exploits others without guilt or shame Oof. and number six frequently demeans intimidates bullies or belittles others jesus christ so yeah pretty much describes him precisely right there right out of a textbook and he clearly clearly has narcissistic personality disorder and man i remember it's kind of funny because you know, I was I was in a little bit of a, a dark place, mostly, I would say, just because of my environment, you know, when I booked our first consultation. Right. And I think it was like right when uh, like all that started with with Rich and Anthony. And uh, I remember even at the end of our consultation, I was like, man, I hope they work it out because of what the other callers had mentioned about. You know, if somebody is in a dark place and they're looking for resources, they might come to this and they're like, that's too much drama. Like, I'm just going to go somewhere else. And of course, that's just going to probably keep them in a blue-pilled mindset, right. you know? 
So that's the part that's really sad. But um, I don't know. It's just been sad and interesting how it's all played out. But I remember even thinking at that time, like, I would probably believe the guy who is a multimillionaire, you know, and is very intelligent. You know, that's why I was kind of interested to see how Elliot Hulse would respond to it because he seems like a very intelligent guy, but I don't know, man, it's, it's hard to know unless you're actually there and kind of able to see behind the curtain, you know, Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm so grateful that I was able to meet you, man. I, I just really liked what you were saying on, uh, on, uh, the red man group before, you know, when it was still the red man group, you know? Right. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's funny just on a, on a quick side note, man, I remember you told this really funny story on one of the episodes where you were like, uh, you had met a girl at a club and she said that she loved you. Right. Oh, I, I yeah. She was in Osaka. I, remember and, that. Uh, I know this story. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So this, so this was in Japan. I was, I was wondering. I wasn't sure if you were still in the U.S. or Hawaii or whatever. So this is a Japanese girl. That's, that's funny. But I, I have a story now that's almost exactly like that. Almost the same. Except she didn't tell me she loved me. But after we hooked up, she like gets a phone call and she's like, shush, 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 like, and it's her fucking boyfriend. Oh so. Lord in heaven. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, was yeah. A, that, that, that it's, it's troubling when those happen. But hey, listen, dude, thank you so much for calling. I got another caller on the art on the air, Christopher. Um, Christopher, you're the fucking man, bro. I love you. And dude, honestly, love you too, bro. Thank you so much for calling in with such what what a what a great call. I don't know if you're reading the chat, but everybody's like, wow, this caller is fucking spot on. Um, and again, you know, guys like you. I appreciate um, it. You know, guys like you are the manosphere. It's it's you. It's your individual situation um, that you've gone through, and your, you know, how you overcame everything. And in addition to that, like you know, people like you, everybody who called in today, nobody who called in today sounded like an uneducated idiot. Guys on the other sides of the screen are educated. And what blows my mind during this entire situation is like how. These uh, Anthony and you know Red Pill Judas and the Twenty One Convention, all these guys, they think that guys like you are stupid, and they think that you are uneducated and that they can easily deceive and lie to you about what's going on, and they are so so sadly mistaken. And God rest their souls, man, because their business is going to burn in hell for all eternity. <laughs> so, uh, I would look forward to seeing him yeah, collecting absolutely. food stamps, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll see oh, what shit. happens. But I, I got another caller, man. Yeah, okay. So thank you so much for calling in, my dude. And um, we will we'll be in touch. Okay, I'll see you in the body, uh, body language mastery uh, quarter three enrollment period. Okay. Sounds great. Love you, bro. Keep up the great work. Love you too, man. Take care. Peace out. <clears throat> Peace, bro. All right, uh, we got another caller on the air here. 407, you're on the air. Who's this? 407, it sounds like this guy's from Florida, not Nevada. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you di- disobeying? So what happened? Are what you happened? disobeying a direct order by calling in, Rolo Tomasi, sir? What's going on here? I'm I'm sorry. I, I, I can't quit you. <laughs> well, Rolo, here's, no, I just, here's... I, just, I was I was actually oh uh, go ahead I, I was actually hoping uh, Bruno and everybody else would be around to discuss something but I guess that's too much to ask. So um, I've been streaming now for 88 minutes. Um, George Bruno uh, sat in the chat and trolled us. Um, <coughs> he trolled and trolled and trolled. Um, I have literally spoke to a dozen men and. I told Bruno, call in, call in, call in. And I just wanted to show the people that this man is a complete fool. All he did was sit in the chat and troll away. Um, he's still watching right now. I had him, I, pro- I finally permanently banned him 
from my chat because I gave him the opportunity. Oh. I gave him I literally we were like over an hour and he did not call in. He did not want to explain himself. He did not want to defend anything. He just wanted to troll the chat. And I let him play his little game. But I guess when you're a 60-year-old well, loser not... getting divorced and left by your wife and you're a complete bum, this is what you do in well, your life. Uh, okay, so, so we, we can... So I mean, we can talk shit about Bruno. I I, I get it, but um, you know, he's at a point in his life because of decisions that he's made, and it's there are guys. I, I and I I counsel guys like this. When a guy gets to be about sixty, sixty five, seventy years old, and he's looking back on his life, or if he reads like the Rational Mail, um, that is a really tough time for guys to. Uh, accept that the reason they're in the positions that they're in is because what they believe for so long or they've been conditioned to believe for so long um, is not working. So there's, they have two choices. They can go into denial or they can accept it and try to make the best of it. And most guys go into denial because they don't want to think that they've wasted their lives on a failed set of of rules that yep. they were taught by people that that they didn't even know that that you know the village taught them to be a certain way, um, and you know I I I'm really kind of mix have mixed feelings about Bruno. Yeah, he's he's very uh, very much adolescent, still, still clinging to an adolescent social skill set, still still clinging to um, an old uh, social conventions, um, old uh, social contracts, um, and wanting to get into this and again it's like i have to sort of debate whether or not he's involved in the manosphere or involved in what he he would like to be involved in because he actually cares about something or because he actually believes something or is it because it's the largest audience you have 210 people watching you right now according to what i looked yeah. we had close to 1500 for the live views and yeah. he doesn't want to show up here but he does want to show up there and I would be happy to, you know, if you want to talk, if you want to have any, like people say this, and I, when when I got into it with, with Pat Steadman, or if I get into it with George Bruner or whatever, like, oh, he's a coward, he wouldn't debate me. I'm like, okay, what do you want to debate? Tell me what this, I mean, if you're going to get into any kind of like real debate, if you went to a debate class, you wouldn't debate whether or not that person is a, a good person or a bad person. You will debate whatever that particular topic is. So whenever Stedman says, oh, we're all alone, debate me, da, 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 da. well, okay, I've said this a hundred times before. Tell me what, the, what, what you want to debate, and I'll be happy to debate that. I want to debate whether or not you're a, a cult leader. That's not a debate, dude. That's, not, that's just, you know, you blowing off, you know, sweet sunshine up people's asses, okay? And what are we going to talk Are you going to talk about whether hypergamy is real or not? Are you going to talk, what do we want to talk about? What, what aspect of anything that i've written do you want to talk about they ne they never have a they never have an answer to that they never they it's always i want to talk about you i want to talk about the answer i want to talk about how you're you're leading all these bitter men to to ruin or whatever i was like okay well let's pick that apart why do you think that is no i don't want to i want to talk about why you're evil and and, and to me that's just i want the views i want the clicks i want to pass through for whatever it is that you're doing I wanted to make sure I threw that out there. I, I mean, I don't have a problem debating anybody. They want to just tell me what the what the topic of the debate is going to be, because it always gets it always boils down to ad hominems, or it also, you know, boils down to non sequiturs, which is you know it just goes off in some tangent that they really wanted to talk about. But the you know, well, he didn't let George Bruno on. Well, what are we going to talk about? Tell me what you want to debate. I'm right. I'm right here for you. But you know, we can we can talk about his history or whatever and i i don't really care you know i mean he, he can go do what he's going to do and i'm going to go do what i'm going to do and yeah, i i think at the end of all of this it's who's doing the work and whose work are you going to follow i mean what where do you see the results what are the results from reading the rational mail did it save your life did it improve your life i didn't give you 12 rules for life I just said, here are the tools. Here's what I'm looking at. Here's my observations. And if you think I'm full of shit, please inform me and let me know I'm full of shit. Because the only way that we can come to, like we can test the validity and the strength of an idea is in the crucible of open debate. I forget who said that. But we have to have that open. That's why I told you I didn't want you to ban, uh, to, to ban Bruno. That's what they do. That's what social justice warriors do. They, they, they close off dissent. They don't want to talk about it. 
Yep. So if he wants to throw out a, a, a topic, I'm all I'm all ears. So you know. Uh, and finally, one thing I, I wanted to say, and and I'll, I'll get up off of here, is I I was really reluctant to do today's show simply because I don't want to aggravate an already very disturbed person. Right. And exactly. When like I was I was trying to get this out today. It was like when your when your revenue stream depends on on bullshit, like when it depends on being a life coach, when it depends on being, you know, when it depends on you selling a certain ideology that people agree with and they pat you on the back for, you have to keep, you have to keep throwing that out there. You can't get a guy to understand the, uh, you know, the truth if he's selling the opposite of truth and it's keeping his family fed, right? And the fact is, is Anthony has been doing the, the, tw- the 21 convention since he was 17 years old he literally doesn't know anything else he doesn't know he, he couldn't go into the pro- he couldn't give up the 21 convention and go off and get a job somewhere or you know be a work a day guy or really even start another business um because he has only known one thing he doesn't have a college education he doesn't have a um you know a business education. He wants to, he likes to say he's a, an entrepreneur, but it's easy to say you're an entrepreneur today. Again, the, the barrier to entry to claim to be a life coach, to claim to be a relationship expert, to claim to be an entrepreneur or, or uh, an influence. Like, that's the thing is there's, there's a business that has cropped up around people, like appealing to people's egos and saying, dude, you have, uh, 500 people watching you. You have 500 subs on on YouTube. You must be an influencer. You must be uh, somebody that people will listen to. So we want you to, you know, to front our our product. That like smart business people, smart advertisers know that that's what people think about themselves, and so now they're making money off of you believing in that fantasy about yourself because the barrier to entry is so low. Yeah. So. When you look at how mentally in, unstable, I don't want to. I'm not going to insult him. Mentally imbalanced. Let's just say he's, he's mentally imbalanced. You take that away from him. You take away the the 21 convention. And I'm not saying I'm going to take it over or anything. I mean, don't misinterpret me here. But like, if if you say, okay, you know what? Sorry, you can't do that for a living anymore. What are you going to do? Yeah. He's going to lose his mind. He's all he's ever known. Is that and and he and when he loses his mind, he's going to need a scapegoat. He's going to need somebody to blame. When the numbers look like shit for Poland and for this upcoming one, he needs to have somebody who says, "Well, it was Rollo and John and Ryan who who ruined the 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 attendance because they they tried to encourage people not to go." I'm not, I'm, you know what? Go see Jack Donovan. I think he's fantastic. If you get something out of, of AJ and you get something out of, of George Bruno, then please, by all means, go check them out. There's other people on there. Not as many, but like Dr. Sean Smith, as far as I know, he's still speaking on there. Go. He's definitely worth going to see. Um, I'm not trying to dis- discourage people from going to see that. People are figuring it out for themselves. But I'm going to be the target of that. I'm going to, you're going to be the target of that. And Ryan's going to be the target of that. And probably Rich is going to be the target of that too because he needs something. He needs a scapegoat. He needs a reason why this is going bad because he can't fathom the idea that maybe a decision he made was a bad fucking decision. Yeah. That maybe the people he listened to, he shouldn't have been listening to. And as a result of that, the, biz, you know, the, the business that you're so proud of is going to be unprofitable because you made bad decisions that, you know what, you want to be an entrepreneur? Part of being an entrepreneur is owning your mistakes yep. and owning your bad decisions. And this is a bad, this is a very, very bad decision for him. So, you know, via con Dios, man, I, I hope you, I hope you're a, a big success because I don't want to see you up in my front yard with a shotgun. I don't want to see you harassing my daughter. I don't want to see you, um, stalking anybody online. I don't want to see you going to my wife's place of employment and and raising a st- I, because this is the kind of stuff that that kind of mental imbalanced guy is going to do. Yeah. Uh, especially when you say, "Guess what? You can't be that you can't be the CEO of 21 conventions. You're going to have to go be a sandwich artist at, at Subway." Yeah. That's 
that that will push somebody over the edge, particularly when they're. And so people want to say, well, why is Rolo quiet at all? It's because, man, you know, I I've dealt I I've dealt with enough people who have mental issues that I I don't want that. So that's why you know I would much rather go back to work, do what I'm doing, call it a day, and you know what, chalk it up to experience on my part because I should never have trusted the guy in the first place. And every day, every day I see another tweet. Every video, everything that comes out ever since this time, it makes me think, why the fuck didn't I see that sooner? Why didn't I? You know what? People want to say, well, see, Rolo, I told you he was just poison and bad news. Yep. You know what? I'll own it. You're right. He was. There you go. Well, listen, man, Rolo, the manosphere is every part yours as it is mine. And, uh, you know, your the fan base and uh, really not even like fan. I don't even say fan base, but just the men you have helped. I mean, they have collectively spoken and that's really all that matters is the the voice of the people so um you know i just think it's good that we put this behind us i think that we made the address that we need to do um i got another caller on the line after you i want to i want to get to him too all right man yeah Um, no worries but thank you so much for calling in man seriously all right guys late later all right uh like 514 thank you so much for holding 11 minutes what's up my brother Hey, man, John, it's uh, John Simon. Hey, John Simon, what's up, dude? How are you? Uh, life's good. Uh, just uh, calling uh, just to tell to all the, like, 200-and-something people are over there that, uh, you know, you're a good guy, you help people for real, and, you know, like, you're not a... Well, you know, you really help people, you really help guys like me, and just, just want to tell it to everybody, like, you're not a scammer or anything. Thank you, man. So, yeah. Showing some love. Thank uh, you, dude. Thank you. You're gonna be joining yeah. the webinars for quarter three of Body Language Mastery. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be there as much as possible. Awesome. Take take a break between all the girls you're dating now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> good, oh, good, fuck, good, yeah. man. <laughs> well, listen, dude. Thanks for calling in, man. I appreciate you, my brother. And uh, yeah, man, pop in. Pop into the webinars, you know, you, you're totally um, are welcome, and uh, I would love to hear what's going on with your life, and just come and listen and all that stuff, too. Yeah, sure. All right, my man. Well, listen, have a good one, and we'll let you go there. Take care. Awesome. You too. All right, peace out. All right. Well, guys, I've been streaming for over an hour and a half, and George Bruno is still stalking the chat right now. He is banned. He is no longer allowed to comment on my channel anymore. Um, He has not called in. The phone number is on the screen right there, 657-383-1318. We have not heard from him. Um, So... I mean, guys, that's. I think that's going to do it for me today, man. It's 4.35 a.m. Tokyo time. I'm going to go to bed. Um, but one more time, guys, uh, again, modernlifedating.com forward slash body language to get on the waiting list for body language mastery. Uh, if you want to learn how to read body language, whether you're just a guy trying to get laid or you want to learn how to read people in the sales room or you know, maybe you work in law enforcement, whatever it may be. Uh, this body language program is the thing for you. Uh, the only warning I have to say, man, is um, once you get in there um, and you learn this information, there is no unseeing it. This gives you a head-to-toe video breakdown of female body language that lets you know if she's interested in you or not. Um, three weeks, twice daily webinar Q&As with Rolo Tomasi, Richard Cooper, Ryan Stone, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And then you get lifetime access to the men's only Facebook group. Um, You also get access to the quarter two webinars, which have been all filmed. Um, That is collectively over 200 plus hours of coaching, only for $4.97. After that, the price goes up to $5.97 in quarter four. And come 2020, this program is over. So go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Click on this little icon right here and then you will be able to put your best email address into this box click subscribe and you will be on the waiting list i will not be spamming you or anything just click on that one and you will be good to go um this has been a great episode i want to say again thank you to all the men who have participated um 
honestly, we gave the man an opportunity to, um, uh, to redeem himself, but he did not call in. Ryan Stone, thank you for the five dollars. Saying the kung fu, the kung fu fury fury cosplay is lit, John. Thank you. I'm wearing this because it is Shokunin September. And every day in September, gentlemen, I will be live streaming on either my channel and or Rule Zero. I probably – do you like me doing these Rule Zero post-show call-ins? Guys, if you want me to do this, um, let me know. Give me a let, – let's make it difficult. Uh, Roflex, thank you for the $5 uh, super chat as well. Um, give me a number – Five, if you want me to do Rule Zero breakdown call-in shows for the next two Saturdays that are left in this month. Give me a number five if you want that to happen, uh, if you think that would be valuable. And uh, Metal Holmes, thank you for the $5 uh, super chat. Oh, we got five, 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 fives. All right. So yeah, I'll do that for the next, um, next week. And then the week after that as well, I will be, uh, I'll be doing the rule zero breakdown call and show. I'll see if some of the guys in the squad, Ryan and whatnot want to come, come on and join me. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for participating in the chat. Um, you guys are amazing. And I um, appreciate every single one of you. Remember, the manosphere is not mine. It is not yours. It is everybody's. Um, it is every single man out there. So um, we got to stick together. And we had to debunk this shit because it is shit. Um, I'm exhausted. It's 4 o'clock in the morning here in Tokyo. It's 4.39 a.m. I am going to go to bed. Thank you all. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I seriously love every single one of you guys and, um, yeah, that's going to do it. So until then I will catch you guys on the flip side. Be sure to tune in tomorrow on this channel where we will be doing the Sunday sermon. I'll be talking about Proverbs chapter, I believe it's chapter five, how a, how a bad woman will destroy your life and biblical truths behind it all. It's going to be a great episode. Um, get a little Sunday church going on for you guys. So I'll be catching you guys here tomorrow. And until then, have a wonderful day. Keep your head up. Get out there. Make money. Make muscles. Learn game. And I'll see you tomorrow.